Hey guys, so it's a little hard to get back on YouTube after months without recording and I'm a little camera shy now, but I, there, I have a, f a few videos on the back burner that I want to record and this wasn't actually the first one I wanted to record. There's one about Trump and uh, the anti-Semitism accusations against Trump and um, a few more, but this one really takes the cake. So um, I just want to make a video about how Chris Cuomo is a propagandist and a bad journalist. So we all are hearing about the Sharpie gate and how the mass media is in mass hysteria because apparently Trump drew with a sharpie on the map with the Hurricane Dorian's expected route. Um, he drew an extra circle that predicts that um, Dorian's route would go through Alabama and the media is freaking out, especially CNN. They have so many things to care about, much major issues, but somehow Trump's um, hurricane map is something draconian and Hitlerian and I mean, it's outrageous that a journalist cannot be impartial. I mean, that kind of journalism in Europe wouldn't exist. I mean, there's a lot of bias in all journalism, don't get me wrong, but the way American journalists treat their president is really something else. Um, I mean, CNN is doing a lot of hit pieces trying to defame and sway opinions on Trump and causing mass hysteria and Trump derangement syndrome all over, over the United States. They're trying to polarize the United States and that's really bad. I mean, as a news agency, CNN and other channels have the obligation to report, um, let's say, impartially um, on the news. And of course, every media is going to be biased. You have left-leaning media and you have right-leaning media, but outright fabricating news and giving judgment on news is wrong in so many ways. I mean, having a few commentators, a commentator panel on, it's okay, but having journalists and anchors um, swaying the public opinion on Trump is wrong, especially the way Cuomo and other CNN hosts are acting, like Don Lemon, they're literally, I think it can be considered treason because they're not only betraying their president, they're betraying the American citizens. They are not reporting accurately and they're not letting the public decide based on facts on what to believe in. Now, independent, independent reporting requires that the news anchor or hosts give an accurate depiction of the matter on the news and do not make judgment, avoid using as many adjectives, adjectives as possible so that the public doesn't get an opinion based on the journalist's way of reporting. So a good way of describing what happened is that, for instance, even though new predictions 
consider that the hurricane may not pass through Alabama. Uh, President Trump um, has shown a map that depicts the route as going through Alabama and let the public decide whether that's a bad thing or a bad thing. Trump is not a meteorologist and based on that map he could have made some inferences that most people would make and that doesn't make him a bad president and that doesn't make him literally Hitler just because he predicted that the hurricane would hit Alabama and to be fair that's one of the most likely routes for the hurricane there are so many variables and you don't call band names to meteorologists that predict a certain route for hurricanes and then they turn around and go hit somewhere else that depends on the pressure depends on the humidity depends on a lot of factors that are beyond human comprehension you can only guess so much on such an unpredictable atmospheric event and you know CNN overreacted to a simple map a simple map really shows how biased they are they should care about Americans they should care that well, maybe if the hurricane has a risk to go for Alabama whether it goes or not it doesn't matter people should be ready people should be careful about it and there are about 40 different projections on how the hurricane may and may progress and all of those projections are right because it depends on atmospheric changes it depends on how high and low pressure centers uh, move in the atmosphere so it's really not that far-fetched to reach the conclusions that President Trump has reached so please Chris Cuomo Stop trying to sw say, sway the opinion against Trump. You're supposed to be a journalist, not a pundit. Um, real journalists report on news. They don't opinion. They're not opinionated and they don't make judgment calls on the behalf of the public. And please stop taking things out of context stop misrepresenting things and stop manipulating the news that's really a bad thing and if i was an american i would want the justice to persecute your news channel for treason treason to the american people treason to your president for not reporting accurately and causing and disrupting the political climate, endangering people, turning Americans against each other at such a dangerous time. You're Americans, you should unite. You should fight for a common goal. If you have a president that is elected, it doesn't matter whether you like them or not. He is the president for the next four and maybe eight years. So, What's any good to fight the president? You need to find some common ground and support your new president as much as possible to improve your country. It doesn't matter who gets elected. What matters is that even if you don't like that person, once that person gets elected, that person is a person that has the power to change your country that has the power to protect your country, that has the power to do anything, working against him, undermining your president's policies is not just going to harm 
his presidency. It's harming every American. So you should learn to work with your president, whether you like him or not, because the only way it's going to improve for you and for people with different political views as yours is if you work with the president and make sure that working with the president policies that may be more um, in line with your political views are applied. Um, I'll make another video dissecting the absurd views of Chris Cuomo on this. I just wanted to make a personal call, a personal video calling him out on bad journalism. Then I'm calling him out on his bad understanding of literature and actually pointing out to what is really draconian and what's really Orwellian in this world. And it's not Trump's presidency. I'm European and in many cases you if I was American or if I was a European immigrant in America, most people would expect me to vote Democrat. Because you know, I've been an immigrant in another country, actually two other countries, and I have the experience of being both a national citizen in the country I'm living in currently and a foreign citizen. And as a foreign citizen, I believe that what Trump is doing is the best for America and Americans. And also has a positive impact in the world as it is. Just work with your president. If he wins again, what do you get for antagonizing the president for more years? Are you going to grow from it? The only way you grow is if you find middle ground between what you believe in and what the president can do for you. Even though the political views are different, there's always something to gain from cooperation. Antagonizing is only going to make the next months or the next four years harder on you. And it's not good for the American people. If you love your country, really work with your president and don't watch CNN, don't watch biased news outlets. If you see a video saying that Trump is literally Hitler taking a few words out of context, I, remember, I, I recommend you to research the full speech and you're likely going to be surprised at how different things are from what the media is portraying to you. So that's it for this video. Bye. Until next time.